Hello to my beautiful and handsome Geminis. Welcome to my channel. This is the Hummingbird Tarot. Today I'm going to be channeling a message for you guys for the new year. Although this is a timeless reading, so whenever you land here, know that this uh, that there is a message here for you. Um, also, you know, if this resonates for you or you're looking to get more concise messages in the future, please like and subscribe because there's an energy exchange that goes on um, when you like and subscribe to my channel um, and then I can better tap into your guides with mine and um, get you the readings that you're really looking to hear. Okay, so with that, let's see what your angel guides have for advice for you in the beginning of this year 2023 or whenever you land here okay so gemini's we have love and accept yourself thank you angels for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance so there is some self-acceptance that you need to focus on for the new year here. Loving yourself unconditionally here. Accepting yourself unconditionally for the good and the bad aspects. I don't even want to say good and bad. You know, it's really just this, this lighter side of you, the darker side of you, the mistakes of your past. You know, really forgiving yourself, loving and accepting yourself. And this is going to help you open up to loving and accepting others in your life, which is going to be bringing new connections into your world. Okay, what else for my beautiful and handsome Gemini's? Okay, Spirit is saying, okay, a lot of us are having these spirit animals coming up. So there is something here for you, and I'm going to go ahead and pull some spirit guides here for you, animal spirit guides. For you to watch out for when you see these animals wherever that is social media tv in reality and um know that there is something that in your thoughts in the moment that you're seeing these animals in your life that is sparking you to concentrate on whatever that energy is for that animal and so let's get into that for you okay what spirit animals are influential now in Gemini's life. Okay, we have the rabbit and the buffalo. Okay, so these are both earth energy animals here and I'm seeing a progression here from the rabbit from a place of being fearful to the buffalo which is like really just, you know, knowing what your strength is, knowing how powerful you are. So there is that progression and that um, rabbit energy is probably at play mostly for you in 2022. And that is moving you toward uh, this more powerful buffalo energy here. So let me read from a little bit from the guidebook for you about rabbit energy. So Feelings of fear, feelings of being overwhelmed, frozen, not being able to move forward, feeling a little bit stuck here. And um, so the rabbit loves to remind his friends that someday the eagle will swoop down and eat him. He talks and talks and talks about it so loudly, in fact, that one day the eagle hears and thanks him for the great idea. Rabbit energy is alive when we are scared, most often about the future and we become our own worst enemy. We spin up a dust cloud of fear and then complain to others that we are lost. Notice your thoughts, Gemini, and words, because our words matter, our words manifest things, you know? So if you are stirring up fear, if you are thinking negative thoughts, that that's what you're gonna bring into your life, okay? So notice your thoughts and words, and they will shape your destiny. So clearing out negative thought patterns, negative vibes about the future, and just trusting in spirit now to help you manifest what you truly want to manifest. And this is in the positive. Think positively. Take action steps, small steps forward every day because um, you are balancing that energy now and moving toward this buffalo energy. He, the buffalo energy is really, it's not the top of the uh, 
earth energy, but it's grounded. It's heavenly, practical, yet spiritual. So practical and spiritual, you are balancing these two aspects of yourself here with this buffalo energy. Um, so you are grounded on the earth. You're getting more grounded. And the buffalo energy sees challenges and hardships or bumps in the road as an opportunity to uplift themselves, to learn a lesson here. Uh, so these challenges that you've faced in the past are really uplifting you and helping you become more balanced in your and, and moving out of fear here. Um, Buffalo does not fear death, illness, or misfortune. Its gentle eyes look to the road ahead, trusting every turn. So it's completely a shift in energy going on in your in your life here from 2022 perhaps to 2023. Rabbit's going to appear when you fall back into old patterns, old negative thought patterns and repeating cycles here. Buffalo is going to appear when you are on the right path here. So you are in this process of finding your bliss and stepping away from fear, um, Gemini. So really tapping into a daily practice of um, something that strengthens your body, body, mind, spirit connection, where it's going to balance all of those aspects out, you know, doing a practice of yoga, um, doing a daily practice or, or some sort of strength training, whatever that is for you, where you're moving your body and getting stronger within your body. Also, you know, daily practice of tapping into spirit, however that is for you with prayer, with meditation, um, whatever that is where you can find that quiet place in your mind and allow spirit to work within you. Um, uh, so body, mind, and spirit, and those two the mind and spirit um, work together. So clearing the body is going to help you think more clearly too, is getting strength in the body. So they're all connected there and spirit really is calling for some balance in those aspects. Okay, Gemini. So let's see what else is going on for you in the astrological world. feeling this card is coming out for you and that's the moon interesting how we have that so there are some emotional needs that need to be satisfied in your life nurturing yourself will help you then nurture others for that moon energy tapping into that feminine energy for you gemini i'm also working with your shadow to heal love and accept it Okay, and then I have another one here coming out for you. So that we have this cardinal energy, um, which is this energy that uh, Spirit is looking for you to and, and try to embody. Now, the cardinal signs, um, I'm still learning <laughs> these symbols for uh, the zodiac signs. Um, we, I think there's Taurus, uh, Cancer, uh, Pisces. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what these all are. Unfortunately, I'm learning. Um, that's why I got these cards mainly to help me learn that. But um, you could have a cardinal sign as like a sun moon, uh, as a moon rising. Um, also, this is just the, the energy or you get a north node, south node, um, whatever that is for you. So instigation, bravery, and a pioneering spirit is what spirit is looking for you to embody with that cardinal sign here. And I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit from the guidebook and get some more clarity on that. Um, like I said, because uh, I am still in the learning process of um, really tapping into the zodiac and the meanings behind that for everybody. So conjunction of opposition, uh, air, fire, water. Where are you? Where are you? It's uh, hiding from me. 
Okay, I think it's in the end of the book here. Air, sextile, cardinal, earth. Come on. Well, oh, here it is. Yay. Okay, so the cardinal signs of the zodiac are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. So this might be an influential person in your life. You might have this, like I said, in your sun, moon, um, north node, south node. So this is about new beginnings um, and instigating change in your life, a fresh start, like that pioneering spirit, like I said before, you know. So it's time to forge a new path, Gemini. Be bold and step outside of your comfort zone. Call on bravery to blossom. You're held by the unconditional love of your angels now. This is relevant to any area, large or small, in your life where you're feeling blocked. And uh, yeah, so I do feel like I had from the beginning, I felt like something was stuck within your energy and keeping you fe fearful here in this with this rabbit energy. So you need that push here. The change you seek begins with you and even one small shift creates an echo, which will then help you shift. So just baby steps here. Like I said, you're, you're shifting from rabbit energy to buffalo energy. You're shifting out of fear and into confidence and balance within your spiritual and um, physical body and being here. So good work, Gemini. You really are on the right path here. Okay, so let's get some more information about what energy you're leaving behind in 2022. What energy are my Geminis leaving behind? And this could be something that you're still working on here in 2023, but you're leaving this energy behind. Okay. So you're leaving behind a community, a home, and see, these are very positive and I see that you're stepping into this. So, um, Maybe you're not trusting in your intuition. You haven't been trusting in your intuition. Uh, you haven't been having harmony in your home, with your family, in your community. And uh, you're not trusting in yourself here. You haven't been. So you are shifting that sort of mentality right now. Yeah, so that is definitely what I'm feeling. Like you are stepping away from being, having... Um, lacking harmony in a home or community and not trusting in your intuition, but you are stepping back into trusting that intuition right now and that feminine aspect of yourself here because with the moon, you know, that is the work that you're doing. You're satisfying, it's you're working on satisfying your own emotional needs right now, loving and accepting yourself. And this came out in the midway position. So, Let's see here. We have the five of cups in the midway um, position. So yeah, you're, you're, you're working on or stepping away from instability, um, exasperation, overexertion, strife, changes in your life here, um, and loss of a relationship here. I'm seeing, I always seeing this card as, you know, having some disappointment or grief over something and then hyper focusing on those things that you've lost instead of turning around and seeing the two of cups, which the two of cups is about uh, really having harmony and uh, loving connections. So you are stepping away from that disappointment and that instability in relationships now. You're stepping away from the pain of the loss that you've experienced in certain relationships. I'm not sure if this is uh, romantic at this point, but you know, with the four of wands, you know, this could have been, you know, a marriage, divorce, 
something that you're stepping away from that relationship. And with the sun in reverse too, you know, and there's some work that needs to be done with that inner child here um, to bring back the sun in your life. Uh, you've been feeling down and negative, some sadness, depression perhaps. So you're, but, but still, even with the sun in reverse, this is very optimistic energy that you are going to turn this around. And, and I see that you were stepping away from that. You were stepping away from the things that you made you feel broken before in your life. And this one coming in the midway position, slightly uh, in the reverse here, I'm feeling like this is now a time of completion for you. You're developing better self-worth and, um, but also you're kind of, you've been pouring yourself into your work here. So there's still a little bit of an imbalance. So working on strength, compassion, you're completing this cycle here. This is what you're stepping away from and developing more optimism about your situation or this person in your life. Um, also with the, it, it, this is also kind of a call to make sure that you are um, careful with your money right now, not living beyond your means. A call to be in the more in the present moment here. And like I said, a balancing out is needed. Um, working on your inner strength uh, and being, like I said, quieting the, the mind of negative thought patterns uh, depression, sadness, negativity, um, working with that inner child here to bring the sun back in. Uh, the, the work that you have been doing here, um, love and accepting yourself is going to really flip these two cards around. So let's see what else. Okay. So for Gemini, let's see where this energy is leading you now. So this is, this is the energy I feel like you're stepping away from. You're tired of being in this energy. Like you just don't want to be there anymore. And in 2023, you are feeling more optimistic that things are going to change, that this is going to be a better year for you. <laughs> yes. And things are changing quickly here. The Eight of Wands, you have this forward momentum. This uh, There's a lot of change coming your way, and it's all coming at once. It might be feeling overwhelming. Um, this, this change is happening quickly. This transformation is happening quickly. The death of old ways of thinking, um, old ways of doing things, um, this transformation is happening for you. Um, you're having this, uh, the, the death of a certain way of being or living or certain ideas that you've been holding to be true. You're finally seeing them as, um, toxic as, uh, something that is not helping you move forward. It's keeping you in this energy of fear and negativity. And you're stepping away from that. The death of those thoughts being yours, you no longer identify with them. You're moving away, but more, a lot of opportunity is coming to you. And it might be feeling like it's too much. It's too heavy a burden. So with all this fast moving energy coming in, um, concentrate on celebrating your joy, celebrating how far you've come, uh, and relishing in that, you know, going, going slowly with the fast moving energy. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. But um, you are really awakening. You are awakening to your true purpose here. And this change is opening you up for what is next here. So anything that you've lost in the past, anything that has been a regret or a failure, disappointment um, that's brought you grief is molding you and changing you into the person 
that you need to be to allow this new energy to come in, this change to come in. This has been a fearful process for you because you have lost so much or you've been very disappointed in the past and you're afraid to just open up your heart and accept the change that has happened in your life. So that love and accept yourself is super important for you. But you are moving into a more balanced place here with this judge, judgment as well. Spiritually opening up your heart um, to the things that are coming into your life. This transformation, this awakening that's coming into your life. Okay, and then we have the Page of Swords. Okay, so the Page of Swords is really with the judgment is... Okay, so it is this optimism here that you've kind of lost with the sun in reverse. It's optimistic. It's clarity. Um, it's seeing things again for what they truly are, but it's kind of new energy to you and you can fall prey to um, being defensive about this new um, energy that you've stepped into. So stay away from being defensive about this. Claim it as your own and open yourself up to the clarity that you will be feeling in with this new awakening here. Don't be defensive. Don't let things trigger you um, now, things from the past, because it'll make you uh, repeat those fearful cycles again. But so this is kind of new energy here. This page of swords. I'm going to read just a little bit um, more into this card with the sun here. I just want to get some more clarity and I'm going to read from my, one of my little guidebooks about how this, okay. So yeah, this is what I was feeling. It's this cl new clarity that's coming in for you is, um, making you determined to heal that inner child, to heal the optimism that you, uh, the optimistic personality that you would normally carry with you, um, to leave behind this sadness, this depression, this negativity that has been following you around and determined to step away from fear. Um, like I said, there is that forceful kind of, um, defensive energy here um and it's because you're it's this is new this is this new feeling that you're getting and it, it might trigger you here occasionally so and you don't need to seek approval from others in this transformation know this within yourself um that you don't have to prove anything to anyone here, except for stepping into your new position and role in life. Okay, so then let's see what else. We have the Ace of Wands. Yes, and this is bringing in new and beautiful opportunity into your life. Renewed passion, renewed uh, a sense of, you know, well-being here I'm feeling you're expand expanding yourself and feeling more inspired so this is coming in this awakening has brought inspiration to you um it's such a high energy card here and you're growing and coming into your own that love and acceptance of yourself is really coming in and you with this rushing here this rushing energy, this rushing change that's coming over you. Um, you no longer need to, you know, no, no longer are going to be feeling that rushed energy of change anymore. And um, know that whatever you are inspired to do um, is birthing within you and it doesn't need to be forced. Um, the fruits of your labor is going to be rewarded no matter what, um, if you're stepping into your true um, awakening here, you know, Gemini, so keep up that good work. Know that this new beginning is really happening for you. And um, 
it, it's all about just stepping away from fear, trusting and loving yourself, trusting the divine, working on that, that balance in your life, the mind, body, spirit balance, and just continuing to move forward. You don't have to struggle. It's just getting out of negative thought patterns here for you. Okay, and with a little bit of love oracle here, we've got embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Okay, so there is there is love here. And but also I am feeling for this embrace card that um through loving and accepting yourself, uh, you're going to find the missing pieces. You're going to find the soul tribe that you're looking for. You're going to find um, the answers to your questions about love, about life, about your purpose here. You're going to find those missing pieces that didn't seem to come readily to you before. Okay, so a lot of cards just spilled out for you. So let's let's see how that is. Oh yeah, let's. I'm gonna take all of them. Okay, Gemini, we've got balance here, and this is here's the balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Okay, and like I said, this could be within yourself. So take it how it resonates. If this is a love in your in a relationship, a love, a partnership. Um, friends, it all applies here, however it resonates for you. And then being playful. Okay, I was saying that there's this inner child that needs to be released and a playfulness that needs to take place in your life here and as well with the four of wands and the eight of wands. So playfulness is here, it's, it's confirmed. Laughter is the best therapy, have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. And loving yourself is the greatest healer for you. Loving and accepting yourself truly for the whole person that you are. And again, we have more acceptance here. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. No, because Spirit doesn't want you to control this at all. It's coming in automatically. You don't have to force anything here. If you stay in this energy of trying to release fear and negative thought patterns in your life, this is happening automatically for you. This doesn't need to be forced, okay? And so with that, I'm going to get a little bit more information about whatever love situation is coming into your life. And we got release your ex. Yeah, I was also feeling that too with uh, the, these two cards that something had gone wrong. Some sort of relationship has broken down here. Your ex, the time has come to clear your energy of your ex because there is new renewal and change happening in your life. You might not meet the one this year in 2023 because, um, you know, your paths aren't aligned quite yet. But let's see here. Releasing your ex, healing from that, balancing yourself out here, loving and accepting yourself will magnetize you to bring in new love here, if that is what you're looking for. So <clears throat> let's see what time of year is going to be the most um, influential, where you're going to really see this change happening for you. Okay, and we have August. So in August, you're going to be feeling some sort of this, this change really manifesting within you, where you can see the results of all of your work really starting to manifest and solidify. Okay, and what is that energy bringing in? for my Gemini's. Marriage. Wow. See, so there is love. There is a new love. If this is a healed love that has, you know, really been put to the test, um, you're, they are, you are coming back together here. 
with the four of wands this is happening eight of wands and the interesting thing is now i'm looking at it as it's the four and the eight in august so we've got this eight energy um here uh i'm just really feeling that for you guys so yeah august this is coming towards you this healing work that you're going to do you're not going to be dragging any um old um worn out energy that's no longer serving you because of this clearing out that you're doing and this is leading to a committed relationship whether you believe in marriage or not or um, just a partnership here where it's committed it's like you guys are each other's person here um, this releasing of the ex is super important and releasing any of the um, patterns of this relationship because you don't want to bring this into the new relationship whether this is healed relationship or new, you don't want to bring that energy. You want to leave that energy behind. What else for tea leaf fortune? Wow, got unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Yes, we have the high priestess here. Trusting in that intuition. The um, you are coming into that phase in your life where you're tapping more into your intuition, where you had kind of, you know, not really um, trusted in yourself here with the moon and the water energy. We've got the moon here. So trust your intuition and um, it's going to help you make these beneficial changes in your life. You know, you know, you know what's going on, Gemini. Trust it. Trust in yourself. Love and accept yourself. And that's how you're going to um, really hone your intuition. Because if you don't love yourself, how can you trust your own intuition? Right? If you're not acceptive, accepting of yourself, or um, you ha how can you trust yourself? Okay? Um, to be right about situations and intuitions that you're having, you know, you're like, oh man, it's just a stupid feeling I'm having, like, and just toss it aside, right? Okay, so using your intuition here is going to be important because someone is working against you or behind your back. You've got a rat um, who is, you know, trying to drain your energy. So use your intuition. You know who this is. Don't second guess yourself. You know who this is. It's time to cut them out of your life. Okay, so you got hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally here to clear your energy, spiritual journey, whatever that is for you. Vacation, something where you can get out and play. Again, that's that playfulness energy, getting out, just losing yourself in the moment. I feel like you guys have been working really hard and haven't been taking the time out to do this playing, take a vacation. You don't have to go anywhere. You just take a few days off from work and just hang out at your home. Do whatever makes you feel good. Get a massage. Um, step outside the box. Do something that you don't normally do. Like um, go see a play or wh whatever it is for you, you know, take that time, take that vacation, get out and play because that playful energy is bringing in this new love, healing uh, old love, whatever that is for you guys. Okay. And this is all I'm seeing for you coming into the new year. Um, wishing you so much love and light and hoping that you can really embody that love and acceptance for yourself and stepping away from any negative thought patterns in your mind. If you need any help um, getting on the right path, I am a spiritual wellness guidance counselor here, so I can help with that. If you want to um, contact me, my uh, email address is in the description box below and also my website as well. Okay, so I'm sending you lots of love and light and um, I'll talk to you soon in the next reading. Okay, bye-bye.